Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Still pretty sick. Please pray for me and all the brothers and sisters that have gotten sick in the past few days. Um, but I wanted to show you something. And that is this thing that's happening where it says Earth's magnetic North Pole follows unusual path, races towards Siberia. So the North Pole racing towards Siberia. And I'm going to show you what this has to do with and how it's leading to the day of the Lord, brothers and sisters. This is, this is, this is, the day of the Lord. These are the signs. Okay. And when you type in north in uh in Bible Gateway, when you type in the word north, right? There's a lot of things where, you know, there's 146 um uh findings of the word north in the word of God. But when you go into, let's say, when you go into Isaiah, right? What is the north? What does it symbolize? Well, in our world, it is 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 the highest place, right? They say that that's where the highest place in the world um, is. So what is the highest place? That's the, the most exalted place. Um, I'll show you, right, see right here. It says, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. So here's here's the enemy saying that he's going to be above all, right? So that's what the north symbolizes, um, is this high point, this point, this place of rulership, right? When you pull out a compass, it... um when you pull out a compass in our physical realm, that's where it points to is that magnetic north, right? Um, so when you look at all these scriptures, then you go into Jeremiah, right? It says in Jeremiah 1, And the Lord said to me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land, right? Um, right here in those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel and they shall come together out of the land of the north what is what is this land of the north what is one of the fulfillments of this well a lot of believers right a lot of the places where God's people were scattered in the land of Babylon in spiritual Egypt is called North America Right. So that's one of the that's what one of the things that this is talking about. Right. A lot of God's people live in North America out of all different nationalities, but people of true faith in Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Um, this is one of the most uh, Christian places. Right. And yes, a lot of the Christians are deceived, as it says in the word of God, but. Nevertheless, a lot of people who believe in Jesus, right? Um, here it says, set up a standard towards Zion, retire, say not, for I will bring evil from the north and great destruction. So, um, for evil appeareth out of the north and great destruction. So, brothers and sisters, and then when you get into the book of Daniel, right, it talks about the 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 king of the north right and this evil this king of the north and this evil of the north is to has to do with russia okay the fulfillment of the word of the lord in the book of daniel when it talks about this king of the north has to do with russia and putin and his army okay and that evil army, the spirit of that evil army, right? The armies of the north, the evil from the north, manifest in the armies that Putin is leading, 
which is in Russia, which Siberia is also in. Now, this magnetic north hasn't gone all the way. It's moving towards Siberia, right? So this thing has already happened in the spiritual realm, this this evil powers of the north in in the people um in the in the armies of russia and in the spirit right and it's moving towards russia it's moving towards siberia but it's not there yet because what it takes place in the spiritual it takes time for it to fully develop in the physical so if it keeps going on the current rate that it's going now it's still going to take another 30 or 40 years to reach siberia but all of a sudden you guys tomorrow it could the speed of this could change and it could be there halfway there tomorrow magnetic north could be there could be one thing that happens one change and all of a sudden it could be almost there if it keeps going at the current rate that it's going now it'll take 30 or 40 years right because this season of the day and the day of the it's not going to be that long brothers and sisters it's not going to take that long it's just saying that that's how long it would take if it keeps going at the current speed that it's going uh 30 or 40 years magnetic north will be in siberia okay but that can change drastically overnight in in the blink of an eye um but I want to show you that's what this symbolizes. Brothers and sisters, the army of these these evil spirits, these powers of the north are coming against us already, are coming against God's people in all four corners of the earth. The physical manifestation of it is the armies of, of Russia right now. But the day of the Lord is coming, brothers and sisters. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. Then everyone who invokes in the Lord's name will be saved. On Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there will be a remnant, as the Lord has promised, survivors whom the Lord calls. God bless each and every one of you. And in agreement with my brothers and sisters, Father, we lift up an offering of thanksgiving, praise, love, and adoration, ascribing all majesty, blessing, glory, and thanksgiving unto you forever and ever, Father. Amen.